Seriously? What's up guys? I'm Ollis87 and we're planning on building a 10 foot tall loop-de-loop -loop in the backyard and everyone's been telling us that we're crazy and it will never work. So before we prove them right and waste a lot of time and a lot of money, I decided to build a scale model of the loop and the hill to see if it would actually work. So let's check it out. So to scale my model, I went from feet to inches to make it easy. So rather than 10 feet, this is only 10 inches. And because they don't make many screws to fit in the, this small wood, I'm just going to glue everything together with the hot glue gun. So first up, I'm going to show you how I built the super loop. And because the hill might not be tall enough to get us through the loop, I built this 8 foot starting platform. And just for fun, and because I had some extra wood, I decided to build this quarter pipe and small little platform. And lastly, the foam pit, which actually used to be right where we planned on building the super loop, so we tore it down. If you're interested to see how we made the mini model for that, or the full size foam pit, I'll put a link to the video in the description below. So once I have my structures built, I hit it with some blue spray paint. And lastly, I had to build the hill. So I went out back and got some dimensions from the hill out back. Then I grabbed some pink foam boards, cut them to scale, and glued them together using liquid nails. And because I only had a few cans of gray stuff left, I filled the hill with some scrap pieces of foam and wood. That way I wouldn't need as much spray foam. So my camera died during the next part and I didn't get the time lapse of it, but this was all bumpy. So I carved it all down, sanded it so I had a nice flat surface. 
and then I lined the track with some modeling clay that gets nice and hard when it dries. And then I gave it a fresh paint job using a mixture of kills and plaster, which gives it this nice hard surface. So once everything was done, I added the track. For this one, I just used a metal sign. It used to be a beware of dog sign, which was pretty easy to cut and pretty flexible to get around here. For the actual build, this will just be dirt. And for the loop-de-loop, -loop, I'll have plywood boards going up there. And now that it's all done, it's time to test it using some ball bearings and some Hot Wheels cars. Let's see if it works. Okay, first up, we got the school bus. I don't think it's gonna make it, but we'll see. <laughs> Crash and burn. But I do have confidence in this uh, little Mad Max truck right here. Put it at the top. Whoa! I made it! Didn't quite make it in the foam pit though. Alright, up next is the tractor. Boop, boop. I'd be really surprised if this one made it. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna make it. made it and now we'll try the ball bearings first we'll try the little one and then we'll try the big one thanks for watching the video i hope you guys enjoyed it i had a great time putting together this scale model and i'm super excited it worked out because now we got the green light to build the full size super loop in the backyard so subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it and we'll see you guys next time